I have with me the Consul General of India, His Excellency Mr. Manish Gupta. Uh, Your Excellency, welcome to Aus India. Thank you so much. It's indeed a pleasure to be with you today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, and of course, uh, tomorrow we are celebrating uh, Indian Republic Day and also Australia Day. And uh, this time, what makes uh, the Indian Republic Day very special? First of all, you know, in Australia, it's always an element of double rejoice. We have the Australia Day, we have the Republic Day. And that's so special for the Indian Australian yes. community. But this year, as you know, we are celebrating India's 75th year of independence. These celebrations are under the rubric of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. So that makes it very, very special. Well, we are living in a very different world, uh, Your Excellency. Uh, the COVID pandemic is spreading not only in Australia, but all over the world. And so also in India, the Omicron is... Uh, uh, amongst this pandemic, how do they intend celebrating uh, Republic Day? Yes, you are absolutely right, you know. Take you know, of course, this year the pandemic has affected all of us, the entire world, and India is no exception. But in terms of a scale and grandeur, our Republic Day celebrations will be a lot more. We'll see some restrictions on the seating capacity, but there will be elements of novelty in the Republic Day parade, there will be elements in the beating day retreat. And I'm happy to share, you know, our Republic Day celebration indeed have already started. Mm. On 23rd, we celebrated Netaji's yeah, yeah. 25th birth anniversary. No, that's right. Yeah. And uh, are we expecting any chief guests uh, this time to come to uh, New Delhi? You know, we're talking about the pandemic, but Honorable Prime Minister is going to have a virtual summit with the leader of Central Asian states. Oh, okay. Right, right. And of course, uh, uh, how are we celebrating here in uh, the Indian consulate? Consistent with the reality of our times, our celebrations will be in virtual or in hybrid mode. So we'll start with the customary flag hosting, reading of Honorable Rajpatiji's message to the nation, cultural programs. And I'm happy, you know, I see the spirit and fervor of our community also. Our community organizations, business councils, and different other entities are celebrating the Republic Day. Mm. Yeah, that uh, this has uh, come, this special Republic Day has come at a very appropriate time, I should say, because uh, India-Australia relations are growing at a very high speed. And uh, uh, there is exchange of uh, various uh, ministers between India and Australia. So what's the significance, you think, of this Republic Day when Australia and India celebrate uh, their national day on the same day? You know, our bilateral ties they have a very rich history they predate india's independence in fact as you know only last year this consulate celebrated its 80 years of public service this is one of the oldest india's diplomatic representations and these ties have steadily been transformed in 2020 we had the comprehensive strategic partnership that provided a broad-based vision for our relationship and it encompasses all areas, be it education, trade, commerce, defense, climate, to name a few. So in this all-encompassing relationship, I think we have a lot. Yes. That's right. And also the Quad recently has uh, been uh, rejuvenated and reactivated, uh, so to speak. How important is that uh, Quad uh, cooperation? The Quad is also, if you see, in a very broad best manner is a vision of the like-minded countries for a free, open and inclusive Indo-Pacific and a vision for a shared prosperity for the region. Yes. Quad, as we, as we look you know, into the dimensions, it is multi-dimensional framework from your maritime to cyber security, from infrastructure to connectivity, from climate change to disaster management. Yes. It encompasses all these areas and moving with the consistent with the reality of our present times includes issues like student mobility, vaccination, resilience of supply chains. And things are moving very fast forward. In fact, only last year, three working groups were set up in the areas of vaccines, emerging critical technologies, and climate. And we see the work already is moving on the ground. For instance, in India, you know, apart from vaccination, our own population, we have supplied vaccinations to over 100 plus countries. 
Yes. Uh, I, well, uh, we, the Indian Australians here, are obviously very proud of uh, India's achievements. A country with so much of diversity from north to south to east to west, the, be it culture, be it language, be it dress, food, you name it. But still, it is uh, everyone's uh, envy that the way India is uh, progressing. And how do you think Indian Australians can celebrate both the Indian Republic Day as well as uh, the Australia Day together? We are very fortunate here in Australia, as I say, you know, this important day is good for Australia as well as for India. So this is a day, especially for a young generation, to reflect on our history, our shared values and interests. And as India economy progresses forward, the Indian economy surges ahead, there are a lot of areas and commonalities where I feel Indian-Australian community can play a big role. Because you are also our cultural ambassadors. And that's where, whether it's the vision of Atnirbhar Bharat, the PM Gati Shakti scheme, to the PLI schemes, you can really build bridges between India and Australia in the field of trade and commerce, apart from the people-to-people -people extensive ties that we already have. Yes. And uh, you mentioned about uh, various functions happening, various community organizations organizing Indian Republic Day, apart in addition to Australia Day, and the local um, leaders, politicians, everyone participating. And uh, what kind of message would you like to send out to Indian Australians while they celebrate both Indian Republic Day and Australia Day? You know, I extend my best greetings and warm wishes to everyone on the occasion of Republic Day and the Australia Day. It's my sincere hope in this important years of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav celebrations, we all are going to come together, celebrate our bilateral ties, the depth of this relationship, and to take this relationship even forward to greater heights. I'm confident, you know, as we move forward, I have the opportunity to engage with each and everyone on a much larger, much grander scale as our lives return back to normal. Yes. I'm pretty hopeful the worst of the pandemic is behind us. I'm optimistic for the rest of the year. <laughs> and that really speaks well for us, for this relationship. Yes, I hope your words come true. And uh, Your Excellency, let me also wish you Happy Indian Republic Day, very special day, and also Australia Day. And uh, look forward to catching up uh, soon for festivities. Thank you so much. We also look forward to celebrating all the festivities together. Thank, Thank you. you, Your Excellency. Me, the director of uh, Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center, Mr. Ramanand Garge. Ramanand Ji, welcome to Aussie Indian. Thank you. Uh, it's always been a pleasure to interact with you. Thank you very much. Uh, of course, uh, tomorrow we are celebrating Indian Republic Day. And uh, the cultural link is one thing which is very important between uh, Australia and India. And also we are uh, celebrating Australia Day. W what's the message you want to send out to the Indian Australians who have got links with India. Yes, indeed. Uh, as Honorable uh, President of India often says that the uh, uh, Pravasi Bharatis or the uh, Indo-Australians, I would say, Indian Australians, are the living bridge between India and Australia. And they have been a very uh, prominent element between bilateral relationship between India and Australia. And indeed, it is a very special uh, year uh, for us as we are India is celebrating the 75th year of independence as we call it as Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. So this Republic Day uh, as being one of the largest democratic country uh, celebrates its democratic values on its 75th year of its existence. Indeed it's a special moment. Mm. Yeah, as uh, in fact Council General also mentioned that it is a very special uh, Republic Day and uh, Vivekananda, Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center, what programs do you have when uh, hopefully this uh, Omicron uh, variant goes away and we are all living in peace and normal life? Uh, what programs have you drawn up for the year? See, uh, as a, you have, uh, you're aware that India is a very diverse country from east to west, north, south. And uh, every almost uh, throughout the season, we got various festivities and this special year, many activities are lined up. But as... Um, uh, because of the COVID-19 situation, uh, we are, uh, despite we are celebrating uh, this year's Republic Day on virtual mode, but as we are optimistic uh, that the spirit remains the same, uh, even on the virtual mode, 
people uh, organize various uh, community members organize various cultural events programs in the consulate also uh, on the virtual pro level we are organizing various cultural events reflecting the true uh, diversity of india and uh, it's in grandiose sense mm. finally your uh, republic day message uh, ramanand ji my republic day message for all indo -East indian australian community members is happy republic day of india and in australia day to all of them and may they continue to grow as a constructive element to uh, bilateral standing bilateral relation between india and australia yeah. thanks a lot ramanand ji thanks for talking to us